In this demonstration, I'll show you how to calculate present value. This is question two. Sonia plans to retire at the age of 60. She would like to have enough money saved in her account so she can withdraw 7,500 every three months for 25 years, starting three months after she retires. How much must Sonia deposit at retirement at 9% per year compounded quarterly to provide for her annuity? What we are looking for here is present value. We want to know how much Sonia has to put in at her retirement so that she can comfortably withdraw 7,500 every three months for her livelihood. So let's write down everything we know. We know that the withdrawals, which is represented by R, is equal to $7,500. We are also told that she'll be doing this for the next 25 years and she'll be doing it every three months, which means that for N, which represents the total number of deposits, it will be 25 years times four. Notice that it says it is compounded quarterly, quarterly meaning every three months, and that happens four times in a year. Also, we know the percentage. The percentage interest is 9%, and what we have to do with this 9% is actually divide it by the amount of times it is compounded. And in our case, it's quarterly, so we have to divide this number by 4. If we divide it by 4 using our calculator, we end up with 2.25% every 3 months. Now, when it comes to these types of questions, we do not use the percentage version of a number. Instead, we tend to use the decimal version. So we have to convert this into decimal by dividing 100. And if we do that, we end up with 0.0. .0 so now we have all the information we need to find out the present value. What we're going to do next is plug in everything we know into this formula. So we have PV is equal to 7,500 bracket 1 minus 1 plus 0.0225 to the power of negative 100. And that's coming from this part right here. Close bracket, all over i, which is represented by 0.0225. To calculate this, we'll use our calculator once again. 7,500, I'm starting at the top, bracket 1 minus bracket 1 plus 0 0.0225 to the power of negative 100. And the numerator should give us that number divided by 0 0.0225. Now, since you are working with numbers here, you want to be as accurate as possible because money matters and we can't shave off numbers here and there. We're talking about people's money here. So we're going to divide this and we end up with 297,313. 297,000 313.0539. That is the present value. So let's talk about what this means for Sonia. This means that Sonia needs to put in this amount of money into her bank account at the age of 60 so that she can withdraw 7,500 every three months until she's 75 years old. So there you have it. That is how to calculate the present value. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.